How to trade futures on OKX? My name is Emmanuel Jacob, the founder of Digital Swap. I'm so much excited today as we were able to hit 1,000 subscribers yesterday. I'm so much grateful because without your subscription, without you sharing our videos, we would not be able to get to this level. Then I'm hoping to 10x this subscription to 10,000 subscribers in the next 12 months and I believe we are going to be able to achieve this with your help and, and your assistance by making sure you share our videos to as many as possible by sharing our videos to people in need of the content we share on this channel. So if you are just visiting my YouTube channel for the very first time, I want you to do well to subscribe so that we will be able to get to our dream subscription in the next 12 months then I want you to turn on post notification so that you'll be the very first person to be notified when next I drop subsequent videos. I want you to share this video. Then I want you to give us a thumbs up, all right, so that YouTube will get to suggest these videos to other persons in need of such an information like this. So in today's video, we want to practically see how to trade on OKEx futures. So if you are totally new um, in cryptocurrency space or if you don't really know what futures is all about, there is a link on the description where I took time to explain the meaning of cryptocurrency futures. Alright, so you are going to see the link on the description and also you are going to see the link somewhere around this video. Alright, you are going to see a pop-up so make sure you click on it then you get to learn about um, trading or oh, sorry, you get to learn about futures trading. Alright, so now we want to practically see how to trade OKEx um, futures. Alright, so if you are new to OKEx and you would love to know how to navigate through, I already made a video showing you how to trade um, spots on OKEx. Alright, showing you how to be trading um, cryptocurrencies on OKEx. Alright, so in this video, you are going to learn how to deposit, you are going to learn how to transfer from a certain wallet to another all right so that is why i don't want to repeat myself because there is already a video that is going to teach you on how to do these basic things so in this particular video we just want to consider trading on okx p2p all right so once you um launch once you are able to launch your your okx account the very first thing you've got to do after launching your accounts is for you to click on assets all right i'm going to click on assets now this is assets this is where you have um your cryptocurrencies asset is more like um on other cryptocurrency exchanges like binance you are going to see wallet all right so in okx on okx rather we call it assets this is where you are going to see the cryptocurrencies that you've deposited into your trading account all right so you are going to click on assets and the next thing you've got to do is to transfer because after depositing you will not be able to trade because your deposit will be under funding all right this is funding so your deposit is going to be under funding all right so i'm going to click on funding now after clicking on funding i'm going to click on transfer so clicking on transfer now I will be able to select which cryptocurrency I want to transfer. Is it BTC that you deposited? Is it Ethereum or is it um, USDT? In this context, I want to transfer USDT from funding account or from funding wallet to my trading account. All right. So that is why you are seeing funding um, funding wallet on top. Is it funding account on top and you see trading account below because I'm looking to transfer from funding to trading so in the in 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 the case wherein i want to send from trading account that is when you've um, taken profit from your trades and you are looking to withdraw what you've got to do is for you to click on this so when you click on this you will be able to switch you will to swap trading upward and while funding will be below so you are going to be able to send from trading accounts to funding account then from funding account you'll be able to withdraw and you'll be able to maybe send to anybody you are looking to send to all right so now i'm going to click it again in order to 
I'm going to click this again. Then, because I'm looking to send from my funding account to my trading account. So, in this context, I think I want to transfer everything. I have a total of 101 USDT. Alright, so I'm going to click on transfer all instead of typing the amount here. Instead of typing the amount here. I'm going to click on transfer all. Then I'm going to click on this confirm. Viola. So, I've been able to um, send, I've been able to transfer the funds from funding account to my trading account. So now the next thing I want to consider is for me to click on the back button. So I'm clicking on the back button now. So now I'm going to now click on trade. Alright. So clicking on trade. That's now taken me to um, this page. It's actually loading. I think I'm having a weak network. okay so now after i've been able to transfer then i've been able to click on trade this is what i want to do there is a button here asking upgrade trading reasons this thing is asking me to upgrade for trading is simply because it is already under perpetual and perpetual here simply means futures trading all right so it's because i already selected this to be trading futures that is why you are seeing it i see it under perpetual let me see if i can actually change it to the default because it is the default that you are going to meet when you get to this level all right um let me adjust okay let me click on btc okay this is it this is the default um, um, page that you are going to meet when you click on trades. So now, since we are looking to trade derivatives, since we are looking to trade futures, and since we want to trade perpetual, please kindly know that all these things are listed are actually the same thing. So now, I'm going to click because I want, I'm looking to trade uni. Uni is a, um, a, a, a native token for Uniswap. A decentralized cryptocurrency exchange so i'm going to click on btc this particular trading pay then i'm going to type u n i do we have uni i think we don't have uni i think i think we don't have uni on okx all right so i think i should search for hold on let me search again do we have uni Oh, my phone is lagging. Is it my phone or the platform? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so I'm going to type uni here. Okay, there is practically no um, uni token or no cakes. So I'm going to search for algo. Sorry for the typo. Once there is a mistake, you cannot type again. Okay, so click. Um, I've been able to search and locate Algo. What I have to do now is to click on it. After clicking on it, since I'm looking to trade derivative, because here you can on on OKX, all right, you can trade both spots and futures on the same page. But you get to change it to futures when you click on derivative. All right, so I'm going to click on derivatives now. This is the derivatives button. All right, so clicking on derivatives button, I've been able to change it to futures. So that is why you are seeing Algo USDT perpetual here. So now the next thing we want to consider is upgrade for trading. So clicking on upgrade for trading, these are the things that you are going to meet. All right, so I'm going to click on settings. I'm going to click on oh, oh, I want to change this to multi currency margin. Nope, we are looking to trade single currency margin. Single currency margin simply means that you will be using USDT, you'll be using USDT to trade other cryptocurrencies. You know, USDT is a stable coin, and I don't think it's really interesting 
using um, other cryptocurrency space like maybe BTC and Ethereum to be trading on futures. All right. So I want to use single currency margin, be limited to using USDT and trading other cryptocurrencies on OKEx futures. Please don't be confused. So I'm going to click on settings now. So clicking on settings, settings, I will have to agree to this. So make sure you take time to read, to read through this so that you know what exactly you are in for. So I'm going to tick this to agree to the terms and condition of OKX futures and all. So I'm going to click on confirm. Wow. So now we've been able to i'm still having this button i'm still having this upgrade for trading button i'm still having this button i'm still having this button so now i want to i've actually clicked on multi-currency margin let me see um what it entails clicking on the settings um okay this is it. You don't meet the requirements to upgrade to multi currency margin. You must have at least 50,000 equity in your unified account to upgrade to multi currency margin. Actually, I did the right thing, though. I did the right thing. All right. I did the right thing by choosing the single currency margin. Then I think I'm just, I, I just need to close this. Uh, okay. Okay. It has now pulled through. So that is all you need to do. Like, make sure you select the um the single currency margin being um the ability to only use usdt to trade other cryptocurrency pays on okx futures because we already saw the um the the multi-currency margin the requirements it requires about or oh, sorry it requires uh, not less than fifty thousand dollars usdt in order to be able to trade on okx futures all right so now this is what um, we, we've got to do next i'm looking at buying algo at um the price of um okay this is what i want to do this is what i want to do all i have to do is to click on any of this click on any of this all right any of these um buy and sell orders so now let me take time to explain this this buy and sell orders this rate that you are seeing i don't think i need to explain this because anybody that wants to venture into trading futures should already know um that this is the exact same thing you are going to see when you want to trade on um on spots all right so uh, futures is actually not for newbies so let me take this time to um warn those that are quite new to cryptocurrency please avoid trading futures Futures is quite profitable, that's number one. And as well, future can be extremely risky. You can get to a point where you lose like virtually everything. You lose all your funds while trying to trade on futures. And also, if you want to trade on futures or if you've been trading cryptocurrency futures and you've not been that profitable, at Digital Swap Academy, we have the right strategies to give you where you'll be able to trade with zero liquidation so with the with zero liquidation you'll be able to initiate trades without seeing liquidation price you know that feeling that you have when you don't see any liquidation price on your trade it gives you confidence that should engage trade a particular trade goes in opposite direction that you will not be liquidated all you have to do is if it's worth waiting for then you wait for it for that particular um for that particular trade to come to your direction so you take your profit you know a lot of people have been blowing their accounts a lot of people have been losing their hard earned money trying to trade on futures and they got liquidated so be very very careful and make sure you um send us a dm on whatsapp in order to take um our futures um strategy course and we also do have um a particular this thing a certain group where we charge only 30 dollars we are hoping to increase this price in the future which has only 30 dollars to give you both spots and futures trading signals 
almost on daily basis and you are going to make some profit so this is actually not a financial advice all right so let us get back to trading okx futures all right so um i want to take time to explain this we have um limited order and we have bbo all right so now this limited order simply means that it gives you the ability to choose the amount where you want to start longing or shorting a particular cryptocurrency all right i already referred you to a video where i took time to explain the meaning of futures i actually used binance futures to explain all these things so we have short and we have long on okx here we only have buy and sell but it's synonymous to short and longing all right shorting and longing so now we have limited order it gives you i've already explained that so um and i don't think you really need to get to know all these advanced limit order market order market order is more like bbo all right market order is more like bbo and uh bbo is actually based um based um <laughs> is it uh, yes bbo is based bid offer all right so based bid offer is actually um a a, a condition that you give the system that you need the particular base bid because this green that we are having is um is actually bid sorry yes people are actually bidding to buy algo all this green that you are seeing people are bidding to buy algo then all the red you are seeing people are asking to sell so what we mean by best bid offer simply means that this when you once you click on base bid offer you are telling the system that place my order first let my order be the the the, the best bid so far in the market do you get it it's just like going to the market and uh, different persons are selling diff, um, a particular product then different uh, buyers okay let's just consider it you go to the market and someone is selling a certain product then we have different buyers we have many buyers that are bidding to buy that particular product then you go in there and give the person the best offer because number one you don't want to waste time and number two you so much needed to get that particular product so you give your best you make sure that the particular price that you are bidding to get this product surpasses that of others so once you are able to offer this seller the best price there's nothing that would stop the person from selling the product for you because you have actually given him the best price so far so the same is applicable here this best bid offer is you telling the system that i want um, i have the best offer to give you so give me these products because i need it so badly so now using best bid offer you don't have the opportunity to select the price or type in the price wherein you want to long or short a particular cryptocurrency do you get it so um so anytime you click on this bbo um once you click on bbo this limited of this limit of a rather is useless all right the limit of uh, the limit order is forfeit is being forfeited because you are no longer using it it is now the system that has automatically given the best bid to the market then you will be filled right away so i i think in this context i want to use base bid offer to enter the street so in the other way around if you want to use limit order this is what you do i simply click on in, in any of these um orders then if i want to edit it i can edit it to any amount maybe 1.895 um, all right 1.895 then i choose the percentage of my balance wherein i want to use in longing or shorting a certain crypto asset so you could choose 10 percent you could choose 20 percent you could choose 50 percent and you could choose 100 percent or if you choose 100 percent it means you want to use all the funds in your wallet to trade this cryptocurrency if you want to use 50 percent it means you want to use half of your uh, funds in your wallet if you want to use 20 percent and 10 percent the same is applicable and uh 
we also have 10x leverage that is why you need to see the video that i def i think it's the first video i referred you to i i think i took time to explain the meaning of leverage and this leverage um is actually this um 10x all right you can actually increase or decrease it to whatever amount you want we have up to 75x all right so on binance we have from 1x till 125x then on okx we have from 1x till 75x so by default i think by default it's 10x so in this context i want to use 10x all right so now i want to use the bbo being the best bid offer so using bbo now you can see that i'm not given the opportunity to impute the amount wherein i want to trade or buy this particular crypto asset the next thing i've got to do is to choose how much of my balance do i want to use in initiating this trade is it 10 percent i want to use 10 percent all right because i'm actually not looking at trading this coin this is just for educational purpose all right and um, you kindly note that this is not a financial advice i'm not making this video telling you to go and start trading okx futures i'm also not making this video telling you to go trade algo all right i'm just showing you how to navigate through trading on okx futures so i'm going to click on 10 percent 10 percent so now the next thing i've got to do is to click on buy so on other cryptocurrency exchanges wherein you could be able to trade futures what you are going to see here sometimes you will see buy long or you see um just long or in the aspect of sell you could see shorts or you see only um sell so this shorts and buying the futures is actually um, more like trading um cryptocurrencies as if you are trading forex so if you are a forex trader i believe you already understand what we mean by longing and shorting a particular cryptocurrency pay all right so futures futures is actually giving crypto traders the opportunity to trade cryptocurrencies as if they are trading futures so leverage leverage where we have from 1x to 75x on okx is um synonymous is synonymous to um they call it um, um what's the name again they call it on um forex they call it um, um lot size all right they call it lot size okay so i'm going to click on buy after i've been able to click on bbo i've been able to select how many percentage of my balance i want to use in initiating this trade then i've also selected that i want to use 10x leverage to initiate um this trade i'm going to click on buy so clicking on buy i could be able to set my stop loss and my take profit so tp is stop or uh, take profit while stop loss is um where i could impute um where i would tell the system that if the market goes in opposite direction exits me from the trade at a certain loss like you choose the amount of money you can afford to lose on this particular trade but you can do that here and once you are done with that you click on confirm but i don't want to go through all those all i have to do is to click on confirm that is i've been able to open the trade all right so clicking on confirm now yes i'm in the next thing i have to click on is clicking on position so on that position i have just one position it simply means that i have only one trade all right so now i've clicked on position you now see that i'm already in a little profit of one percent all right so now um what next do i have to do if i want to close this trade like not closing right away if i want to set my take profit i'll simply click on close so you don't need to do this if you already took um the other option being um, take profit and stop loss if you already done that then you just need to um leave or accept you want to maybe cancel it and reset it all over again so i'm going to click on close and i could also possibly set stop loss here all right so i'm going to click on close clicking on close i will choose what price do i want to sell algo i will say i want to sell algo when the price gets to two dollars 
then I want to sell everything. That is why I'm clicking on 100%. All right. Then after which I'm going to click on close. So I've been able to close this particular position, not like closing right away, but telling the system when the price of R will get to two dollars, close me at um, with profit. So now we have open orders here. Open orders is actually the close that I've just initiated. All right. So I think that would be all. So I believe I've been able to. Um, I've been able to show you the necessary things you need to do in order to be able to trade on OKX futures. More videos is coming your way, so that is why you need to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That is why you need to turn on post notification so that you'll be the very first person to be notified immediately when I drop another video. And also, we have um, this um, episode that has been going on question and answers with Emmanuel Jacob so if there is anything that you would want me to make a video on anything that regards cryptocurrency when you want me to make a video on how to do it don't hesitate to send me a DM there's a link on the description with my whatsapp link or my whatsapp number that you will click and it will take you to my DM then you ask me whatsoever um, question it is so let me know if you enjoyed this video let me know if you've been able to learn a thing or two in the comment section and make sure you do well to share this video to as many as possible because a lot of people do not know how they could be able to navigate through trading futures on okx so thank you so much for your time i really do appreciate your audience thank you so much so remember that we are looking at hitting 10,000 subscribers within the next 12 months so 12 months is not um it's not actually um how do i put it it's not until we get to 12 months before we could be able to achieve this with your assistance by sharing and recommending this youtube channel to as many as possible we could be able to get in a very short um, period of time thank you so much i'm hoping to see you next time goodbye